Hey there everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm here with the Thermal Web Design Team and I have a new layout to share today and I've used lots of different Thermal Web products. So I've done a little bit of prep work here on my Cameo. I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs Premium Cardstock in white. And today on the Thermal Web blog, we're celebrating Bikini Day. And so I'm going to create a swimsuit style of a layout. And of course, I'm going to use some of the deco foils in these three beautiful colors and some of the Gina K Designs fancy foils and some of the transfer gel. I know I used this last time and it turns out so great. I wanted to use it again and show you guys what fun things you can do with it. And I'm going to be using two pictures of my daughter in the pool. Now, I had a tough time. I, I got a brand new silhouette cutting mat and a brand new blade and this Gina K cardstock is awesome. It's very thick and I did not turn my blade up high enough and so it cut but it didn't cut all the way through so I had to go through and kind of help it out with some scissors but that was pretty easy to do. So what I did was I went through the silhouette design store and I found these really cute swimsuits and I cut them on the white cardstock. I got a bikini and two one pieces and I designed this fun little clothesline and my idea is to have the swimsuits hanging from the clothesline and then my pictures also hanging from the clothesline kind of in between the swimsuits and I thought that that would be a cute design element and there's also some little flowers that came with some of the uh, swimsuits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat all of these with the transfer gel. Now this is going to get a little messy and that's okay. I like getting messy. So this uh, it's messy but it's really not that messy honestly. Um, you, I'm just using a palette knife here and just scraping some of it over onto the cardstock and uh, once it dries you don't want it to be wet to do this right here. Let it dry and it dries clear. You're going to take your foil and put the tacky side down and you don't want to waste it so cut around your shape and you want to make sure you get your laminator nice and hot and ready to go and then you're just going to slide the whole thing in between some parchment paper and then run it through your laminator and it's like magic I'm going to speed this up it goes very slow so it can heat it up I sped this up quite a bit just for the sake of time and then when you remove it and you peel the foil away it magically sticks to wherever you put the transfer gel. Look how pretty that is. And sometimes I like that it's not completely perfect, you know, because I used a palette knife and so some of the areas may not have gotten covered completely, but I like it that way. I love a distressed look and I think it looks really, really pretty. So the pink that I used was one of the Gina K Designs fancy foils and it's in passionate pink. This is one of the deco foil transfer sheets in lime and I'm going to do the same exact thing. Speed it up and once the heat from the laminator heats it up and you peel away the sheet you get this gorgeous foil design and there's so many ways to do this. Last month I did this on a, um, a sheet of stars that I used with a stencil so this was just it's really easy to do. It's super fun. I used the the teal on the bikini and then on my little um, clothesline here I accidentally left a spot open and I'm going to show you how to fix that and this is an odd shape because it's long and skinny so what to do here I've got a spot that's not covered okay so a lot of people say hey I don't have a laminator can I use this stuff without a laminator absolutely this is the liquid adhesive and all I'm doing is covering up the spot and you could cover anything with this let it dry see I can touch it and it feels kind of tacky and sticky but it's dry then you're gonna take your foil and this is champagne it's a really pretty light gold color stick it right on top of where you just put that adhesive and very firmly rub your finger over it you could also use something like your palette knife to, to rub it rub it uh, rub it over but you don't really your finger will work just fine and when you peel it back it's stuck to it so you do not have to have a laminator to use this adhesive you do need a laminator for the transfer gel so there are two different products and clearly you can use the foil without the transfer gel but you do have to let it dry both of them in order for the foil to stick 
Okay, so I've got all my little swimsuits and my clothesline and my little flowers. So I'm going to start to play with the design of everything. And I don't really have a, you know, anything else picked out at, the, at this minute. I'm just kind of playing around with what I have. I'm going to use some clear gesso on some white cardstock here and then just sort of start with some sprays to create my background. Um, when I have a white background like this, I love to do a mixed media background using different color ink sprays and watercolors. These are two different shades of golden yellow colors. And when I make a summer page, I love to have yellows and turquoise colors and some pinks just to, to add to the whole summer brightness, uh, the color scheme. And so I'm going to kind of zoom through this because it's, you know, it took me a while to do this. I'm pretty picky when it comes to my backgrounds. So it did take me a little while. So I sped this up quite a bit and I'm just using the packaging technique. I'm using a brush. I'm using the nozzles to splatter. I want to kind of have a, a little bit of a sky, a little bit of a, a sunny area at this point. And this layout just kind of, you know, there's a lot going on and took me a while to to do it all uh, mainly because of drying time it does take the adhesive and the transfer gel time to dry okay so i went through my cut files i knew i wanted some clouds up in my sky and this is a cloud cut file from the cut shop and i just cut it on some white card stock and it's just going to be a design element i'm not going to add any foil to it or anything so I'm going to replace everything like I think I want it on top of what I have so far on my background. This is also a ThermoWeb product. This is the, what is this called before I, before I say the wrong name, iCraft Mixed Media Adhesive and it is a super strong liquid glue. I use that pretty much for everything on this layout and it is great glue. It dries clear. It's very, very sturdy. I have all of my products sitting right here on my desk and I just know I'm going to say the wrong name for one of the products. So now what I'm doing is creating my little clothespins. I decided that I needed little clothespins to connect my bathing suits and my pictures to the um, the clothesline. What I've done here, this was off camera, something that is super easy. I just added some tissue paper and some pink random pattern paper behind my pictures there. And I use my distress tool to just ruffle up the edges a little bit. And now I'm gonna get back to designing. Now I know that I want the swimsuits right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my liquid adhesive to glue those down and I don't use anything to add dimension to my page. I feel like it's plenty dimensional. So I'm gonna little, little, I'm going to cut these little clothes pins. And all I did was take the deco foil liquid adhesive and just smudge little lines on the cardstock, let it dry, and then rub the foil over with my finger, just like I did earlier. And up close, these just look like little dash marks, but they look like little clothes pins holding up the swimsuits and I'm going to come back later on and make some bigger ones to hold the pictures. So I decided at this point of the layout that the bottom part was kind of empty and it needed something else. So that something else was some pink. So I went back into my stash of watercolors and did a little more packaging and smushing and splattering with some pink. And I think that was the perfect color to add. Uh, I think it just kind of evens everything out. And there is some pink in the photos, so I uh, wanted to pull that out just a little bit. And with the main swimsuit in the middle being pink, I thought that the pink was perfect for the background. So I'm gonna come back in with that mixed media adhesive and glue down all of those clouds. And I like how this is looking so far. I think the clothesline idea was fun. I was hoping it would turn out 
in my mind. And actually, you know what inspired me to do the clothesline was a cut file that I found in the Silhouette Cuts or the Silhouette um, Cut File store. I was browsing for swimsuits for this this project and I knew I wanted to incorporate swimsuits somehow onto the page and I saw an actual cut file that looked like a little clothesline with swimsuits hanging on it and I thought that would be a cute design idea and so I found a couple of different swimsuit cut files that I liked and just sort of made my own um, clothesline there. I thought it turned out cute and I'm just adding some thread here from my stash in the golden yellow, the lighter blue, and some of the green and then I just go back and forth with adding splatters or adding paint if it needs it. Because, you know, sometimes when these colors dry, they dry lighter. And if you want it to be a little darker, just add some more. All right, so this is the brand new Summer Days collection from Simple Stories. And um, it was really nice that Simple Stories sent this to the Thermo Web designers. We got all the papers and the sticker sheet, and I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to use some of the stickers as embellishments here and I love flamingos flamingos are all the rage right now and I love them I think they are the cutest element to add to a summer page I'm gonna add that pineapple that little pinwheel I didn't want to go too crazy uh, I wanted to kind of stick to the clothesline and just things around the photo because I feel like my sky is pretty much done and um, I still need to have room for a title and everything so I'm just adding little stickers here and there. Little tab over on the right, that little yellow heart. And then I really thought this was pretty. I thought at first I may use this as my title, but I thought, where am I gonna put it? I couldn't really find a spot for it. So I stick it right there for now. And I like it, but I just didn't love it. The more I look at it now, the more I do like it. A lot more, I think, but. I like what I what I decide to do in the end. Now this really jumped out at me. This little cut apart piece. I'm going to fussy cut this out and use this up top. Because I know I've said this before, but when I create a summer page, I like to have a sun on there somewhere. And so this was perfect. And I thought, do I want it on the side? Do I want it in the middle? And I decide to put it right there. And that kind of acts as the sunshine. But it also adds in a new color. It introduces that red it's not a full-on red, but it's more of like a deep reddish pink in the hello part. And so I thought, do I really want to add this in because it's a new color? But it winds up looking okay. I do leave it, and I add some yellow thread under it. I make sure everything's glued down. And then what I decide to do is add in a deeper reddish pink color down at the bottom to pull out the red from the hello. So I've got all shades of pink going on and I, I like how that looks I think it just kind of makes makes that area look a little richer down there at the bottom and I am gonna add that little flare button from my stash had it for a while and it's also that reddish color and so I think that was a good addition now these are some jelly bean soup alphas from my stash and then these are some freckle fawn stickers this is from a new pebbles collection I just got this and so I decided to change out the light colored flamingo for this darker pink flamingo and I'm gonna add in a couple of these tropical hibiscus flowers just to add little more pops of color I just love all those colors. They're so bright and so fun. And I'm going to add in these two cloud stickers. And I love the addition of those at the top. I think it just adds more dimension and just gives a little variety. Another sticker. I use a gold metallic pen just to add a little bit of journaling. I didn't want to use black because I didn't really have any black going on in the layout. Here are my bigger... Um, what are they called? Clothes pins. I just did the same thing. I used the deco foil and made a couple of lines, let it dry, and then I'm smudge my finger over with the champagne foil. And look how easy that was. And these are definitely homemade looking clothes pins, but I think they're cute. And they look like they attach 
to the photos. I did add a strip of pattern paper and a couple more stickers down there at the bottom, and I also did a little bit of stitching, but there's the final layout. I tried to get the best photo I could so you could really see all that shiny foil. Look how pretty that is. I love the texture. It actually looks like fabric on a swimsuit. I just think it was, it was, I love how this turned out. It was so pretty. I love, I love the foils. I, I hope you guys do too. I hope you give these a try. Give the transfer gel a try. Give the adhesive a try if you don't have a laminator. It's a lot of fun. Always get really pretty results. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this. I know there's a lot of product going on. So let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.